Julianne Huff has always been a performer. She wowed us with her moves on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, she's so talented. She's also a singer and actress. And now she's a writer. She co-wrote a novel loosely based on her life. It is called Everything We Never New. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> Hi, Julianne. It's hello, so hello. good to see you. So some people were probably saying, I wonder if we'll get a memoir. Yes, or yes. But you decided to go down this lane. Tell us why this was the right lane for you. You know, this is definitely based off of a lot of my own personal experiences over the last few years, but I wanted to create something that was like another world. You know, when mm -hmm. we go to the movies, it's an escape into another world. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I love storytelling. It's how I've done my entire career, mm -hmm. whether it's through my body, through music, through acting and I really wanted to create a world where people could dive into a really fun adventure where it's less intimidating as yeah. like a you know self-discovery book um, but more about like you know trusting yourself within yeah. so mm -hmm. that's what this this book is and the people that are gonna resonate with it I think it's it's really a journey of um, taking all the things that we've learned over the last, you know, 20, 30 years in our life and realize, like, how close am I to my most authentic version? Mm. And what are the belief systems and the conditions that we've been, you know, taught to do? And how do I unravel all that to get even closer? So this woman, um, Lexi, in this book, she has these supernatural abilities now where she mm. can see things and feel things and um, see auras around people. And she goes on this epic journey mm -hmm. to what she thinks is to go and heal other people, but of course you can't heal mm -hmm. other people or help people unless you heal yourself. Mm -hmm. So she goes on her own journey of self-discovery and it's you, pretty great. You dedicated this book to your younger self. Mm -hmm. I did. I think we have a picture of you <laughs> here oh, my God. Baby with Jules. your brother. So how, how have you healed that person and what have you needed to heal from? Yeah, you know, I think as everyone, as we all have our experiences from children to growing up, and again, that's why Lexi mm -hmm. also goes through this yeah. healing journey because we, you know, we do what we need to do to survive, to protect ourselves, and we put systems in place for ourselves in order to give us that safety. Yeah. But when it's all external things, those things can fall apart. So it's really about finding and trusting that you are safe within yourself, and that's the journey that Lexi goes you on. You know, I think it's funny. A lot of people don't, they don't get close to who they really are. Mm -hmm. even later in life yes. because you go through life and you're like they like this so I'll be that and I'm sure just by the way you grew up and how you're performing you had to be what people wanted you to yeah. be and yeah. then there has to come a time where you go I'm not this acting anymore. <laughs> yeah. I want to be me. Yeah. And when or, did you yourself, mm. not Lexi, but when did you yourself say, I'm me now. This is who I, This you, you're going to take me or leave me? Yeah, I think in the last few years, obviously this took four and a half years to write. And mm. so it was during that process that I had that activation of, you know, I've been performing my whole life, yeah. which has been something that I've loved and it's given me so many opportunities. And at the same time, you know, the way that people discover you, they, that's how they want to see you. Yes. And so now you've become a caricature yes. of yourself and you're like, well, that's how people love want me or want so me. I should yeah. So I should person. be that. Yeah. But, you know, as you grow older, you're like, what do I, what, what do I believe in? What do I feel? Yeah. And, and how do I want to show up? And it can be scary for the people around you because they want you to stay the same. Right? Yeah. And so that's what this book really is. It's about having the courage to... Um, choose yourself. My philosophy is always self, others, world. If you can connect to yourself, take care of yourself, you can then see people with new self, eyes. Self, self, others, self world. others, world. So that, yeah, when you can take care of mm -hmm. yourself, you can you can open your eyes to seeing people truly for who they are, mm -hmm. yeah. and with new eyes, and then you can experience the world in a in a more beautiful and you know compassionate, empathetic way. So, so when way. when someone didn't like the you, the real you, <laughs> they wanted the old you. Yeah. What did you do? Because yeah, for that's all hard. of us. I mean, a lot of there men. is shedding, like that's shedding. part of life. Yes, shedding, delayering, and I think yeah, it could be a little intimidating. But I think you you got to just trust yourself, mm -hmm. and like we have so much wisdom within us. And and again, Lexi, and on her journey, which was my journey too, uh, she uses the elements, earth, fire, water, and mm -hmm. air, as a modality to um, you know meditate and go inward mm -hmm. and really tr trust that wisdom that you know is is in the elements. I mean, mm -hmm. water holds memory. I mean, the earth mm -hmm. is where creation began. And mm -hmm. so that's, you know, that's where all of this mm, comes cool. from. And so. in the acknowledgement, you wrote something really beautiful to your mm -hmm. ex-husband mm -hmm. about yeah. the fact that he gave you this stability mm -hmm. to kind of free yourself, really. Mm -hmm. yes, um, what, yeah. So what, what, what do you want 
for your future? Are you, are you wanting to date or are you feeling really happy sort of in your own power? You know, I, I definitely, that's, again, it's all about reclaiming your own power and you put a lot of power into the hands of other people around yeah. you. And so reclaiming that, I think as a 36 year old woman, um, my heart is open. I'm very happy and I'm not out there chasing yeah. it, but I'm just trying to emulate the, the energy of what I hope, you know, you matches someone else, mm -hmm. and we're both ready for that moment whenever that comes. Amazing. And wait, what's happening with Dancing with the Stars? Yes, okay. yeah. you're yeah. going back. We're going back. Season 33. Girl. Alfonso and I will be co hosting again. Wow. And cool. it's so exciting. Yes, it yeah. really is. Yeah, you have a lot of good adventures ahead, I don't do. you? I do. I do. I'm very, very grateful. And obviously, like with this book, it's a sensorial experience. Mm -hmm. Her, you know, Lexi's superpowers, if you will, are all about the senses. So mm -hmm. I actually wrote music to go with Amazing. the book. Amazing. And you can take a quiz to see um, what your elemental constitution is, and it's in the QR code in the back of the book. Oh, that's so cool. I How just fun is that? really How wanted it to. There's in there. wow. <laughs> There's all these little treasures. How can treasures. we listen to the music? Uh, Spotify, okay. Apple Music, wherever Anywhere. you listen cool. to your music, and yeah, and then you can take the the quiz on the back. How of this cool book. is that? Yeah. Thank you, Julian. Thank, Thank you so you. much. And y'all can check out Julian's book, Everything We Never Knew, at today.com/books. All right.